so big. Hi, library friends. It's me, Miss Kath. Welcome back to So Big. This week, we're going to be talking about horses and apples again. I'm so glad you can join me. Hello, how are you? Let's sing our Hello, How Are You song. When we say hello, how are you? I'm good, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Here goes. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm great, I'm wonderful. I'm good. I'm great. I'm wonderful. Very good. Let's sing it again. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good. I'm great. I'm wonderful. I'm good. I'm great. I'm wonderful. That was great. We have another horse story this week. It's about a horse named Tony and he's a working horse. Before we read our story, let's get our wiggles out. I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders. I wiggle my nose. Now no more wiggles are left in me. I'm as still as still can be. Our story this week is called Tony by Ed Galing, illustrated by Erin Steed. Tony is a workhorse. He has a job. Many horses have jobs. Tony. That was his name. He was such a wonderful horse. And pulled a milk truck for Tom, the young driver. Tom Jones, in the early hours of the morning, pulling the wagon loaded with milk, butter, and eggs. It's so early in the morning, the sun isn't up yet, and you can see the street lights are on here. Do you see Tony's hitched up to the wagon? Tony was all white, large and sturdy, with wide, gentle eyes and a ton of love. He would wait patiently while Tom jumped off the wagon to put my milk and eggs on my doorstep. It was early in the morning, around 3 a.m., but I was up and would go out and pat Tony with my gentle arms, and his head would bow down, and his eyes would glow. Aw, he liked being patted. And Tom would say, nice to see you out so early, sir, and Tony always looks for you, too. Wouldn't miss Tony for the world, I would reply sturdily, giving Tony another pat. He 
He is such a wonderful horse and so handsome. I am sure he heard that, Tom would smile widely as he got back into the truck. And as they pulled away, I knew that Tony did a little dance. Why do you think Tony did a little dance at the end? You're right, because he was so happy that the little boy came out to give him a pat and say hello. Do you remember our Giddy Up Little Horse You Can Do It song? Where we encouraged a little horse that he can do it. He might be a little shy about something or the little horse might be a little worried he can't do something, but we sing to him and give him encouragement. Now, last week I showed you the signs for this song and I'll show you them again this week. So horse is your thumb on your forehead and then you take your two fingers, you wiggle them like horse ears, horse. Can you try that horse? Good. And then when we want to tell them you can do it, we say you can, you can. We point forward for you, like you're pointing to somebody you're talking to, you. And then you take your two fists and you just push them down. Can, you can, good. And then when we talk about or sing about jumping, we take our two fingers and we make them jump. Like two legs, jumping, jump. And then run, two pointers. Join them and run. Wiggle your finger and make it go forward. Run. Two pointers, link them together, and then run. Good. Play. Pinky out, thumb out, and we shake them. Play. Play. This pinky does not want to stay out. If yours doesn't want to stay out, that's fine. Mine does not want to. Play. <laughs> Hay. Hay is what horses eat. We take our hand and we put it by our chin like it's a handful of hay. 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 And then when we want to sing about walk, we make our hands move like this, like two feet walking. Walk. We want to sing about running again. Run. And fun. Two fingers of each hand. Touch your nose and then I touch the two fingers on your other hand. Fun, fun. Just follow along with me. Giddy up little horse, giddy up little horse, you can do it. Giddy up little horse, giddy up little horse, jump through it. You can run, you can play, you can eat lots of hay. Giddy up little horse, you can do it, you can do it. Giddy up little horse, giddy up little horse, you can do it. Giddy up little horse, giddy up little horse, jump through it. You can walk, you can run, you can have lots of fun. Giddy up little horse, you can do it, you can do it. That was great, you did such a good job. Let's do it again. Get your horse sign ready. Giddy up little horse, giddy up little horse, you can do it. Giddy up little horse, giddy up little horse, jump through it. You can run, you can play, you can eat lots of hay. Giddy up little horse, you can do it, you can do it. Yes, good job. Giddy up little horse, giddy up little horse, you can do it. Giddy up little horse, giddy up little horse, jump through it. You can walk. You can run, you can have lots of fun. Giddy up little horse, you can do it, you can do it. You did it, good job. Do you remember our trot, trot, trot song? It was a song about a horse that pulled a wagon. 
Oh, just like in our story, Tony. Tony pulled a wagon, and in trot, 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 we sing about a horse pulling a wagon. The word trot means a fast walk for a horse. When a horse does a fast walk, it's called a trot. Mm -hmm. Now, last week I played the tune on a xylophone. Oh, let's see if you can remember what a xylophone is. Each colored plate is a note, and you make a sound by hitting it with, this is called a mallet. So I practiced and I actually recorded the song that we can sing to this week. Let's try trot, trot, trot together. You might hear the music in the background. Trot, 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 horsey, please don't stop. Pull me in my little wagon. Trot, 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 horsey, please don't stop. Pull me in my little wagon. The wheels go round and round. Now we're homeward bound. Trot, 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 trot. <laughs> That sounded pretty good, didn't it? Let's do it again. <laughs> trot, trot, trot. Horsey, please don't stop. Pull me in my little wagon. Trot, trot, trot. Horsey, please don't stop. Pull me in my little wagon. The wheels go round and round. Now we're homeward bound. Trot, 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 trot. Great job! Did you hear me playing the xylophone in the background? That was me. <laughs> do you want to go on a horse ride again with me this week? You do? Great! Well, let's get our horse riding hat. If you don't have a hat, you can just pretend to wear a hat. Hat. Let's climb on our horse. Oh, climb on. Get comfy in the saddle. Grab the reins, which are the two straps that you use to help you ride. Okay, when you want your horse to go, remember what you do? Make that little clicking noise. Oh, here we go. Let's practice stopping. When you want to stop, you pull back on the reins and you say, Ho! Oh. it worked. All right, you ready to go? Here we go. Ah. I love to ride on a horse, giddy up. I love to ride on a horse, giddy up. So jump on your horse and ride with me, and we'll see what we can see. Hmm. Oh, do you see that field over there? Do you see what I see? There are so many tiny brown, orange pumpkins. They're growing on green vines. Soon they'll be big and fat, ready to pick and make a Halloween jack-o'-lantern! Cool! I love to ride on a horse, giddy up! I love to ride on a horse, giddy up! So jump on your horse and ride with me and we'll see what we can see. Let's see what's over this side. Do you see the blue jay over there sitting on the fence post? Oh, did you hear that? I think he's saying hello to us. Hi. <laughs> oh, okay, well we gotta go, Mr. Blue Jay. Bye. <laughs> I love to ride on a horse, giddy up. I love to ride on a horse, giddy up. So jump on your horse and ride with me and we'll see what we can see. Hey, look over there. It's a little black and white puppy. Oh, he's running around and do you see he's chasing a big purple ball? Wow, he sure loves to play with that ball. Have fun little puppy. Well, that was a fun ride. We saw a black
blue jay, and a playful puppy, and a whole field of orange pumpkins just waiting to turn into jack-o'-lanterns. Mm. That was a really great ride, giddy up. That was a really great ride, giddy up. So jump on your horse and ride with me, and we'll see what we can see. Okay, now we have to tell our horse to stop. Do you remember? Pull on the reins. Oh, oh, good horse. You gotta give your horse a nice pat on the neck. You can brush its mane. Hey, maybe you can even give your horse an apple treat. Do you see the apple I have here? It's a pretend apple. Let's give our horse an apple. Here you go. Oh, my horse really likes it. Thanks for the nice ride, horse. I'm gonna get off my horse. Oh, oh that was so fun, wasn't it? <laughs> you know, horses love apples, and I have a story about apples. Would you like to hear it? You would? Okay. It's called, I Eat Apples in the Fall, by Mary Lindeen. The apples are on the trees now, and they're getting big and round and juicy, and pretty soon we'll be able to pick them and eat them. Or sometimes the farmers pick them and eat them and send them to the grocery store where we buy them and then eat them. <laughs> But you can pick your own apples if you have an apple tree or if you visit a place that has trees. Picking apples. It is fun to eat apples in the fall. Apples grow on trees. An apple farm is called an orchard. Have you ever been to an apple orchard? I have. Apples are ready to pick in the fall. It is easy to pick an apple. Just pull it off the tree. Ooh, look at those big red apples. Some apples are small. Some apples are tiny. Some apples are big. Apples can be red, apples can be yellow, apples can be green. The inside of an apple is white. Apple seeds are brown. Do you see all the little seeds inside? Apples are round. These apple slices are circles. The seeds in the middle make a star. If you cut an apple through the middle and take off the top, you'll see a star. It's like a little surprise inside the apple. A slice of apple pie looks like a triangle. Yum! Baked apples are warm and soft. Mm, I'm getting hungry, are you? Apple chips are sweet and crunchy. Apples make great snacks any time of the year. Apples are good for your brain, your heart, and your teeth. What is your favorite way to eat apples? Oh, do you see this little girl? She's eating a candied apple. Mm. I eat apples in fall. I think my favorite way to eat an apple is just right off the tree, sweet and juicy, and so crisp and delicious. Mm, mm, mm. 
That reminds me of our poem that we learned last week called The Apple Tree, where we used little apple finger puppets to count down the apples on an apple tree. I'm gonna put them on my fingers. If you do not have apple puppets, you can use just your fingers like that. Okay, I'm putting one on each finger of my hand. Do you know how many fingers are on one hand? That is right. Whoops, one just popped right off. There are five fingers on one hand and I have five apples now. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Let's try our apple tree finger poem. The apple tree, it's called. Way up high in the apple tree, five red apples I did see. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Can you shake your tree? Ah, shake, shake, shake. And down came an apple. Mmm, it was good. <laughs> did you eat your apple? I ate mine. How many are left? One, two, three, four. Way up high in the apple tree, four red apples I did see. I shook that tree as hard as I could, and down came an apple. Mmm, it was good. <laughs> How many are left? One, two, three. Way up high in the apple tree, three red apples I did see. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Shake your tree. And down came an apple. Mmm, that was good. Way up high in the apple tree. How many apples are left? One, two. Two red apples I did see. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Woo! And down came an apple. Mmm, that was good. One is left, just one. Way up high in the apple tree, one red apple I did see. I shook that tree as hard as I could and down came an apple. Mmm, that was good. Way up high in the apple tree, no more apples did I see. I shook and I shook and I shook that tree, but still no apples came down for me. Maybe I should take a break. I don't want to get a tummy ache. We just ate all those apples, right? <laughs> well, pretend apples. And that's the apple tree poem. Do you remember our song, Munchy Crunchy Apples, that we sang last week? Apples are munchy, apples are crunchy. And we used different color apples to sing our song. We used, what's that one? Yes, red, and we used, who remembers this one? Good, yellow, and we used, yes, a green apple to sing our song. Very good, let's start with the red one. Munchy crunchy red apples, red apples, red apples. Munchy crunchy red apples, it's apple picking time. They're juicy and sweet and a delicious treat. Munchy crunchy red apples, it's apple picking time. Now we're gonna use the yellow. Munchy crunchy yellow apples, yellow apples, yellow apples. Munchy crunchy yellow apples, it's apple picking time. They're juicy and sweet and a delicious treat. Munchy crunchy yellow apples, it's apple picking time. Now we're gonna sing about green apples. 
Munchy crunchy green apples, green apples, green apples. Munchy crunchy green apples, it's apple picking time. They're juicy and sweet and a delicious treat. Munchy crunchy green apples, it's apple picking time. Mmm, all this talk about munchy crunchy juicy sweet apples is making me want an apple. That gives me an idea. Would you like to go on a little trip with me? A little surprise trip? You would? Okay, let's go. Come on. Surprise! We're going apple picking at the apple orchard. And apple trees in the orchard. So these apples are called gala apples, but they're not ready to be picked. Look how red they are on the tree. Oh, these are golden delicious apples. These are yellow apples. Do you see all the apples nestled in the branches? Golden delicious. Here's my favorite kind of apple, Granny Smith. It's a green apple. Let's look at it a little closer. Do you see the green apple? They're juicy and sweet and a little tart. Granny Smith apples. Okay, we're gonna pick autumn crisp apples. Here's an autumn crisp tree with lots of autumn crisp apples. See so pretty? Let's go find some. Look guys, look at this tree with all the apples. Let's pick some. I'm gonna keep my mask on for safety though. So you just go up to the tree whoop, and you pick your apple. Pick this one too. This one's a good apple, it just fell. Let's find some more apples down this way. Oh, that's a big one. Try one. Okay, we're gonna try this one. To clean it up. Munch a crunch of red apples, red apples, red apples. Munch a crunch of red apples. It's apple pick time. So juicy and sweet and a delicious treat. Munch of crunch of red apples, it's apple picking time. This is a Zestar apple. Mmm! Very tart. Good.
We have a whole box of apples! We are leaving the apple orchard now and look! It's horses! Wow! Do you see the big white horse eating the grass? I wonder if he would like a juicy apple. Will he take the apple? Oh, he dropped it. Well, there he goes. He's eating it now. That was so much fun going apple picking. I tasted so many delicious apples at the orchard. They were so juicy and sweet. Well, some of them were a little tart. You know, there's nothing fresher than an apple that you pick right off the tree. Do you see this giant box of apples that I brought home? It's so heavy. <laughs> hmm, what should I do with all these apples now? Hmm, I know, maybe bake an apple pie. Maybe bake an apple cake or make some apple crisp, or apple turnovers, or even applesauce. I know, maybe I should make them all. <laughs> Yum. Maybe you could go apple picking sometime soon. There'll be apples on the trees for the next few weeks, ready to be picked and eaten and made into delicious treats. Well, boys and girls, it's time to say goodbye this week. So big is over, but I hope you had fun reading stories about horses and apples and singing about horses and apples and taking a horse ride with me. I hope to see you again next time. Have a great week. Bye.